Tennessee opens up spring practice today. And depending on when you're watching this video, they may have already had their first practice or maybe several practices. But quarterback Nico Imalieva is definitely one of the most hyped, if not the most hyped, new starting quarterback entering the 2024 season. I know we got Jackson Arnold and you got Brock Vandergriff. You got some new quarterbacks getting broken in this year, but but Nico is probably the most hyped or, or talked about guy as a new starting quarterback. So I'm going to take a few minutes to talk about what do we want to see from Nico during these spring practices. There's one or two really big things I want to see as far as his play on the field, but I think there's several different kind of topics that are worth talking about uh, as it relates to Nico during spring practice. you got, what, 14, 15 practices in your spring game. So he finally got some some elongated stretch of practices where he's the guy. I know he had some bowl practices, but now he is the Guys, so Nico, there's about four or five things I want to see and one or two kind of major things on the field that I'm really looking for uh, during spring practice. But number one, I think it comes back to just taking control of the team. Like like you're the guy now, you're the leader. You were able to watch Joe Milton last year. You got your feet wet from playing in the bowl game and playing, you know, spotty some spots throughout the season. But now you are the guy. So I think it was great to get this, these those reps but now you're getting reps being the guy in practice. Now you're getting reps being the guy uh, in, in the meetings. That 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 takes a toll. That, that That's a next step you have to do and have to account for. So now your leadership is even higher and more than what it was at uh, in, in 2023. So whatever that leadership looks like, whether it's vocal, whether it's by example, whether it's both, I don't know, but you just take control of the team. Make sure this team is yours by the end of spring practice. Get your guys to to believe in you. Number two, connection with your wideouts. I yeah, he had some connection last year, right? And you had practices and you're getting on the same page, but now you're the guy. So now you really want to build that rapport with your wideouts. And now you have White and McCoy who, you know, I think McCoy is, is out during spring, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me. I, I'm pretty sure I read that. Uh, but, you, but you have your kind of two main guys, if you will, coming back. But now you have to develop your rapport with other guys. Develop, like, who's going to be that number three receiver? Who's going to be that receiver that can potentially take on a bigger role? Uh, but number one, you want to develop that relationship and the rapport with your top two guys. And then you want to develop the kind of camaraderie and just being on the same page with everyone else. Like, who, who's going to take the brunt of uh, of your check downs? Can you get the ball out to your running backs, to your tight ends? So you want to establish that rapport during spring practice and when we were uh, in college, what we would do, and I, I know that Nico has been thrown to his guys before spring practice. Like what they do during camp or what they do during the off season, you only have a certain amount of hours you can work with your guys. So I know they gave Nico a script. They probably went in Neyland Stadium. The coaches are probably in the press box watching because they only have a certain amount of hours they can be with the guys. And they were probably going through the route tree. Like what, what they would do with us in college is they'd be, hey, we're going through two-minute drill today. Uh, it's February 5th or whatever, so, so spring practice hasn't even started yet. And the coaches are in the press box watching us go through the two minute drill or watching us go through uh, out routes or whatever it may be. So I guarantee he's been able to get in the same page with his receivers doing that. But now you, you're you going to be in pads and now it's a bit more realistic. So it's a great chance to get in the same page with your receivers. Then number three, uh, uh, just running the offense efficiently, running the offense how it's supposed to be ran. You, you had one year already getting experience, which I think is great, but you don't really – and in Hypo's offense, you need reps, 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 and like game type reps to really get good at getting the ball out quick, to really get good at going through your progressions, to really get good at, you know, making sure the offense is being ran, that the speed of the offense is being ran how Hypo wants it to be ran. Like like someone like Hood and Hooker, in my opinion, like ran it perfectly. He was able to to show his athleticism push the ball downfield, get the ball out quick, and he took care of the ball. That was Hooker's kind of biggest thing for me, and he was extremely accurate. I mean, the, the ball was out quick, the ball was downfield, he took care of the ball, and was extremely accurate, didn't turn the ball over. Like, Hooker ran it perfectly. So for me, that's where things stand out with, with, with Nico, what, what I want to see during spring practice as it relates to what you're doing on the field. Getting the ball out quick and going through your progressions quickly. I think those are like the biggest things that I want to see. I, I know he's got the arm. Everyone knows he's got the arm. Everyone knows he's got the the athletic ability to make plays, right? So I want to see him go through his progressions. I want to see him get the ball out quick. I want to see him kind of move in a pocket. How's his pocket awareness going to be in the third quarter whenever the defense is showing one thing pre-snap because another thing post-snap and they're blitzing a guy that he wasn't accounting for? Like that's what I want to see during spring. So it may not be realistic because it's not a real game. 
but I do want to see the ball out quick. I want to see him go through his progressions. I think that was the, the my biggest takeaway in the bowl game was, yeah, he flashed, right? Like three touchdowns on the ground, one touchdown in the air, I believe. Uh, and he showed what he's capable of. So now I want to see that refined a bit more because at the same time, he only had 170 something yards of total offense. Like it's not like he was just like lighting the world on fire. It was a great first, first start and he gets a good defense. But I still want to see that ball come out quickly. He also took six sacks, right? So that right there tells us there's room for improvement. Again, it was his first start going up against a good defense. But still, I want to see that improvement during spring practice, right? Ball out quick. Go through your progressions. Avoid taking those sacks. But at the same time, you don't want to put handcuffs on Nico. Uh, just because that athletic ability, the ability to throw off platform from any angle is part of what makes him special. Not completely, but part of what makes him special. So while I'm talking about go through progressions that get the ball out quick, at the same time, you want to let Nico be Nico. But this is what you have screen practice for. This is where you come in, you make your mistakes, you learn, and you grow. So there's a lot more you want to see from Nico. I want to hear from you, Tennessee fans. What else do you want to see from Nico? Again, I just want to see him take control of the team. I want to see the, the leadership role develop. Again, whatever that leadership style looks like, I want, to, I want to see that happen during spring practice. I want to see the connection with the whiteouts. Not necessarily from his top two guys. You kind of know who his number one, number two are going to be, plus McCoy, like we talked about, is probably out. But who else is going to take that step? Who else can he develop that connection with? Who else can can he get on the same page with during spring practice? And then you want to run the offense efficiently. Uh, it's great he got his feet wet. It's great that this is like his, his – almost he's entering his second full year in this offense. So it's it, it, that that's great from the X of the nose, from like the board standpoint. If he gets on the board, he's probably tell, able to tell you where to go with, who to go with. But now it's executing on the field and running that offense up to the speed that Hypel wants. And, again, my main two things that I want to see in the field – progressions go through your progressions and get the ball out quickly those two things lead to to unwanted or un, uh, avoiding sacks because uh, you just don't want to play from behind uh, the down distance that that often but Tennessee fans again let me hear from you what do you want to see from Nico and if this is your first time tuning the channel thank you We're just a big quarterback hub we talk all things quarterback so please consider subscribing to the channel and then liking and sharing it really does help uh, the, the channel we just talk all things quarterback a lot of sec quarterback content so again tennessee fans let me know your thoughts in the comments below thanks for watching we'll see you next time